This is Easy Company Barbecue, and today we're going to make an easy, simple jerk chicken from home. Today we're going to be using Walker's Wood Jerk Marinade. It's more like a paste, more than a marinade. To the ingredients, we're also going to use a little bit of olive oil, salt, a little bit of honey, garlic powder, onion, some red pepper flake, and of course, some Jamaican rum. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get your chicken out. We've got to get the chicken prepped for the barbecue. Today we're using leg and quarter thighs. And I just want to clean up some of the excess fat on it because when you're barbecuing, the excess fat will just end up being a little bit of fire. I like to cut this little flap off because uh, it just tends to hide a little bone in the part of the thigh. You just want to trim off a little bit of the excess fat. Inside the thigh there's usually some disgusting remains from when they cleaned the bird. I usually like to scrape that out because I don't like to eat that after we get barbecuing it. Once all the chicken is done and trimmed up, we're going to take it and wash it with a little bit of salt water. Open up the chicken a little bit. It acts like a small brine. I'm going to continue prepping this and I'll get back with you as soon as I get all the rest of the chicken trimmed, all the fat and the remaining portion of the bloodline out and we'll be right back with you. Alright, we're back. Uh, we got all the chicken prepped, all the little excess fat and all the, the extra remains of the little blood and guts hanging off and fatty tissue. So now we're going to get this chicken cleaned up and we're going to let it soak in some salt water for a little bit. Naturally the salt gonna help us clean the chicken off and the salt will open up the chicken it's almost like a short brine so we're not gonna be brining this chicken very long but we're gonna scrub it all together use a generous amount of salt naturally the salt in other cooks I'll show you in the future the salt will actually act as a brine where you use sugar and pepper and salt and uh, in future videos, I'll, I'll show you how to make a couple homemade brines. But right now, now that our chicken is soaking in the salt water, right now we're going to go ahead and make this uh, simple jerk marinade. Now this uh, Walker's wood, it's more like a paste. It's very thick, and we're going to go ahead and use the whole jar because we are doing about 10, 10 to fourteen leg leg and thighs. But when I make this simple jerk seasoning, I mean, it's not authentic, but I, I like to add a few other things to it. And I'm gonna loosen it up because we're gonna marinate this chicken. I like to marinate about four to six hours or overnight. Now the one thing about jerk chicken, this is a mild version that we are using. It is still a little spicy. And the longer you marinate the jerk chicken, the spicier the chicken will become. So now we got a whole jar the jerk paste in there. I want to loosen it up with a little bit, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, but we will put this on the chicken here in a second. So I'm going to come back to the olive oil in just a second. Right away we'll add a few club lugs of rum. It's about two and a half, three shots of rum in there. You don't need a whole lot. We're going to add a little bit of garlic powder, maybe a teaspoon or so, some dried onions, maybe 
maybe a tablespoon or so. And you guys can add or subtract any seasoning that you wish to make on this. This is just my version of easy jerk chicken at the house. Uh, right here we got some red pepper flakes. We're gonna go ahead and add about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Same thing with pepper, about a teaspoon of pepper. I know I'm not measuring anything, but it's a, an approximate. There. Now we're gonna dice up a few uh, green onions. Forgot to mention add of uh, green onions in the beginning, but we will be using up some green onions. Both the green stem and the bulb. I think it'll just add a little bit more flavor to the jerk chicken. Alright. You guys want to mix that up? Smells good. Alright, now we're going to start incorporating the chicken in there. It's just going to be one big happy family. Give the chicken a final rinse off. And just going to start laying the chicken in there. Because this whole bowl with the chicken and the marinade, we're going to add the olive oil and the honey here shortly. And then we're going to wrap this chicken tightly and we're going to let it marinate in the fridge. Now for people who don't want to handle the raw chicken, you always recommend gloves, but my hands are very clean. And when you're getting into barbecuing, a lot of times your hands are going to get dirty. I don't mind my hands getting dirty. So what you want to do is you want to take that the chicken and you want to take this marinade that we're making and you just want to rub it all over the chicken. Get it all over it. Some people like to shove it under here, underneath the skin. Just remember, jerk seasoning is tend to be a little spicy, so the longer you let this marinade, the spicier it gets. And for people that's going to be coming at a regular barbecue, you don't want a possibility of like surprising them with a big teaspoon of jerk seasoning under the skin. Some people are okay. It's all depending on your type of people that you will be feeding. Right. So I'm going to incorporate the rest of this chicken in here, and I'll get right back at you, and I'll show you what this looks like. All right, now that we got all the, the chicken in the bowl and the marinade's all on the bottom, I'll take a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put it back in the old jar. I'm going to take a little bit more Jamaican rum. Another couple shots or two. Tablespoons. Get all the remains out of that bottle. I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil over the chicken. Like I said, we're gonna take and break down that paste. We're gonna make an actual marinade on this. 